Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about symbol based problems. In this set of problems, we will be using unconventional symbols to represent mathematical operations. I uh, will start with an example. So the problem starts this way. If plus represents minus, if minus represents multiplication, and if multiplication represents divided by, and divided by represents plus, then what is the value of 7 minus 2 plus 8 into 4? The objective of these problems is to test the ability to perform mathematical and logical operations, not going by the conventional symbols, but by the new symbols which are defined in the problem. To solve these kind of problems, one has to replace the new symbols with the actual conventional symbols. While solving these problems, we use Bordmas rule. So, we'll first start this problem. Minus represents multiplication. So, it's 7 into 2 plus represents minus 8 and into represents divided by 4. And going with Bordmas rule, first division, then multiplication, then subtraction. So first division, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and then multiplication, 7 into 2 is 14, and 14 minus 12, 2 is 12. And another kind of problem which we can have is say, we have something like this. If x at y is equal to x square plus y square, if x dollar y is equal to x cube plus y cube, then what's the value of uh, 1 dollar 3 at minus 4 dollar 5? So we just uh, use this formula. x dollar y is a cube plus y cube. So 1 dollar 3 is uh, 1 cube plus 3 cube at the whole idea is to solve by parts. So we solve each of the each of the brackets and then go with the surface. So minus four cube plus five cube. Minus four cube is minus sixty four plus one twenty five. So this is equal to one plus twenty seven twenty each at the rate of um sixty one. And adding nothing but x square plus y square that's equal to twenty eight square plus 61 square. So, we just calculate them. And another kind of problem which we can have is like this. If uh, P of A comma B is equal to A minus B, if Q of A comma B is equal to A into B, if R of A comma B is equal to a divided by B and A equal to 1, B equal to 2, C equal to 3, then what's the value of P of A comma Q of B comma R of B comma C? And as we discussed in the previous problem, we solve by fraction. So go to the innermost fraction. So we first solve r of b comma c, then substitute the value here, then find p of b and the obtained value, and substitute that value here, and then find p of a and the latest obtained value. So we know that a equal to 1, b equal to 2, c equal to 3. So let's substitute p of 1 comma q of k comma r of uh, b comma c is 2 comma 3. Uh, R of A comma B is A divided by B, so we have P of 1 comma Q of 2 comma 2 H. And uh, Q of A comma B is A into B, so P of 1 comma 4 by 3. And P of A comma B is A minus B, so it's 1 minus 4 by 3, which is nothing but minus 1 by 3. 
So essentially, we have nothing tough in these problems. The only thing is our ability to adjust with the unconventional symbols. Don't get confused or carried away by these symbols, but go with the actual conventional symbols. That's all. And an assignment will be posted uh, uh, with few problems on this. Thank you.